and welcome to Art With Me, Katie Cordy. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw a creature straight out of mythology, a griffin. I used Sharpie and crayons for my colorful griffin, but you can use whatever coloring medium you desire. So for the first step of our griffin is we're going to choose what we want our griffin's head to look like. And it might be as simple as a circle with a neck, or you can get more traditional and do what I like to call a ghost neck, which is this is going to allow me to make um, kind of like a eagle-ish, like a traditional eagle griffin. And so essentially I'm going to draw a ghost. I messed up that line right there, but that's okay. And then I'm going to do some soft feathers on the bottom, almost like a cloud. And this is going to form my head and my, a wide neck. Then I'm going to do my eyeballs. And for my eyeballs, I think I'm going to do a slitted eye, almost like a cat's. And then I'm going to choose my form of beak. And for this guy, I'm going to do a curved beak, like an eagle. And something that I love to add to my griffins is their ears. I love to give mine ears. So I do a triangular or a slightly rounded oval shape. And then I like to add feathers on the top. Why? Because I think it's cute. Next, I'm gonna start into my body. And I'm gonna add a short part for my shoulders before I begin my legs. And my legs are gonna be made out of two parts. I'm essentially going to do two wide lines and connect them with feathers. Before doing two short parts, to make the scaled part of the legs. And then I'm gonna do a rainbow and a smaller rainbow for the claws. In fact, I can even do another rainbow half hidden if I want. My next step are going to be my wings. And wings can be done in a million different styles. But I'm gonna start with essentially what's called my wing arm. Is I'm gonna start with the short part of my wing and then curve back, almost like I'm drawing a cloud. Again, it's a, just a bunch of U's, rainbows, smiley faces, however you want to look at that. My next part is I'm going to do something that swoof words. I'm going to do something called secondaries. Wings are made out of three parts, the tertiaries, secondaries, and primaries. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to do fancy wings. You could do more cartoonish wings if you'd like, but I'm going to go fancy. And I'm going to do this by starting a bunch of short lines that are not going to be the full length of my wing. And then I'm going to connect them with U's or straight lines, my choice. Or your choice. <laughs> Words are hard. And this makes a really short wing, so I'm not very happy yet. I'm going to add my primaries. And so now I'm going to add my long feathers. And then I'm going to connect these ones too. So this is a fancy way to do wings, if you want to do fancy wings. Then my next step is I'm going to add in my belly. You might need to add in a back too if your wings are really small, especially if you're drawing, say, a baby griffin. Then I'm going to do my cat legs. And so for my cat legs, I'm going to do a small curve. Essentially what it is, is I'm going to break my legs up into two parts. An oval. Hopefully you can see that well. And then a rectangle to make my legs look bent. If you're like, oof, man, this is a little beyond me. That's okay. Just draw a straight line for your legs. You don't have to get fancy. But I always like to get a little fancy if I can. And then for my paw, I'm going to do a quarter circle and add in my paws. You can also do a half circle with three lines in it as well. There's more than one ways to do things. And that's what's fun about art. So just adjust this to your confidence and your skill level. Now I'm gonna give my griffin a tail. 
I'm going to judge approximately where my butt should be, and then I'm going to extend my tail in whichever direction I want. But what's fun about griffins is that you can also modify them however you want. Maybe you want to add tail feathers if you have room. Maybe you want to make their tail feathers a part of their tail. And it might be their entire tail, or it might just be the end, or just the beginning. You can decide. Again, no one, no one way to do things in art. So figure out, how do you want your griffin to look? Since they aren't real, there, there's no limitations. And then of course, once you have your griffin looking like whatever you'd like, you are free to color. And this is my very colorful griffin.